Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is a bread and butter bolo video, and I have 33 bread and butter bolos coming your way. And what that means, these are items that I sold for $35 or less. They're typically easier to find items, items that you want to be on the lookout for when you're at thrift stores or garage sales, places like that, estate sales. Um, but yeah, I've got some good ones here, some you may not know about, so let's get started. And I'm going to get my screen share up and I'm going to share with you my what solds. And I am your featured seller. All right, let's see what we got here. The first item is this perfume. And I really enjoy selling perfume. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store, I think, or a garage sale. And I sold it for $17 and the buyer paid the shipping. I usually get these for a buck or less. Um, they are pre-owned, so some of them are bread and butter. Some of them can go for big money. It really just depends on the demand for that item. If it's discontinued, if it's rare, stuff like that all plays into it. So definitely look things up. The next item I sold is this bronze series razor shaver. It's, um, it was a garage sale find and I bought a bunch of like razor stuff. I think I paid $10 for all of it. And I sold this one for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this big picture apples to apples. And a lot of times if the games are um, open, I won't mess with it because I don't want to count. But all of these things were still sealed, but it was an open box. So I went ahead and listed this and it actually had good comps. I was surprised. And um, it came in a mystery box. And I sold this for $25 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And another tip, I like to put heavy stuff like this over on Poshmark because if it's five pounds or less, it ships for that flat rate of, I think seven, is it $7 and 11 cents? I can't remember it. It was six something, but I think it changed. Um, so like this or like scrapbooks, things that, you know, are a little bit bigger and higher on weight, but not too big, you know, that it goes over the dimensions. Those are good items to put on Poshmark. This happened to sell on eBay first. Um, I do cross post all of my items to um, Mer Mercari and Poshmark. And I use an extension called List Perfectly, which I'm sure if you guys watch my channel, you've heard me talk about it because it is one of the best things that I've done for my business. I've been using it for over a year and it just saves me so much time. So I list my items to eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark, sometimes Etsy, sometimes Grailed, sometimes Facebook. So the name of this game is Apples to Apples. Um, if you're interested in checking out List Perfectly, I do have a demonstration how-to video. Um, I've got several. And if you wanna try it, you can use coupon code BOLOBUDDIES, one word. That's a referral coupon code that will get you 30% off your first month. So definitely check that out and you can thank me later. No, it's pretty awesome. All right, the next item is this Den Disneyland Resort. Um, it's a Cinderella castle picture frame that I picked up at a garage sale for five bucks and I sold it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. It's really cool. And you guys know <laughs> that I'm pretty cheap. So if I'm paying for a List Perfectly subscription, it must be really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next item I sold is this Vintage Star Christmas Tree Topper. I got this in a mystery box and I sold it for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Vintage African Carved Wood Marriage Wedding Chain. This was so long tail, guys. Um, I don't know if my pictures weren't good. I think it had a repair on it right here. And I think think like part of the ceremonial thing is like you're supposed to break it so maybe that's why it didn't have much value I thought it was going to be a bolo but it really wasn't I mean I still made money I think I paid like five bucks for it at a garage sale I sold it for $33.59 the buyer paid shipping but it definitely took the right buyer and it was very long tail the next item I sold is this vintage OSU Ohio State cheerleader boy sports doll I did have three of these and this is my last one. I sold him for $30.23. I picked him up at a garage sale for $3 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so these are vintage feathers. And I think 
This one sold for 25 and these sold for 20 and they went to the same buyer, but it was two separate transactions. I picked these up at a thrift store for $2 for each lot. So I got about four bucks in the whole set. The next item I sold is this cute little vintage 1994 teddy bear mailman. I picked him up at a garage sale for $1 and I sold him for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Batman belt. And this was actually like really nice quality. Um, it felt heavy, it didn't feel cheap. And I sold this for $25 and the buyer paid shipping and I got that out of a mystery box. So I was pretty happy about that. The next item I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. It's ERTL and it's a three bottom mounted plow and it's like a farm equipment toy. And I mentioned this in another video. Um, I'm sitting on the floor, so I'm really uncomfortable. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I need to get a chair or something because I'm trying to be closer to my router so I don't get as much uh, issues when I'm talking. I was having issues. So anyway, uh, yeah, I sold this for 35 and 50 cents at a garage sale, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Holiday Thomas the Train. I sold this for $19.99. You guys, it's a little itty bitty Thomas the Train. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale with a bunch of Thomas the Train stuff and I listed this one separate because, well, it's super cute. And there it is. Yep. The next item I sold is this Anna Lee doll mouse and it's from 1989 and I picked this up in a mystery box and I think I had eight boxes and I think I kept like two or three items and I think this is the only one that really had any value and I sold it for $20. So that batch was not very good. <laughs> so you just never know with a mystery box, right? But you win some and you lose some. The next item I sold is this Elemenis, Elemenis card game. I picked this up at a thrift store. I did scan the barcode while I was there. I mean, it was, I knew it was going to be bread and butter. But I'm actually shocked at how quick it sold. I bought it for a dollar and it sold for $13.19 and the buyer paid shipping. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a long tail item and it wasn't. So the next item I sold is this vintage hard plastic made in Hong Kong Christi Christmas manger nativity scene. And it came in the original box. It was new old stock. It's super cool. And I sold it for $35 and the buyer paid shipping that came from a garage sale and I paid $1 for it. These PJ Masks figures I picked up at a garage sale and I just lot them up in lots and I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item took a while to sell, but he did sell. He's the vintage Christmas old world Santa. He's like paper mache, carta pesta, like that fabric, stiffen fabric. I'm not sure what it's called. But I sold him for $30. I picked him up at a garage sale. I can't remember what I paid for him. Probably like a buck or two. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Disney Frozen Queen Elsa stuffed plush doll. And I picked her up at a garage sale for $10.55. No, I sold her for $10.55. I picked her up at a garage sale. It was a, a bulk buy of plush. And so I probably have 25 cents in her. And uh, the buyer paid shipping on that one. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is another one. You guys have seen these in my videos. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. And this one is just a single figure. Most of them have like little scenes. Um, let's see. It's from 1987. Ceramica Excelsius. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm really sorry. But it's 196 out of 5,000. And, you know, they're religious um, figurines. And they did awesome. I mean, they are a major bolo. Uh, this one only went for uh, $24.63 and the buyer paid shipping. But some of the other ones went for $50, $60, $70, $70 I think, maybe. I know there were some in the 50 and 60 range. So most of them sold quickly. Uh, this one I actually um, had in my car. I was going to donate it back because I thought it had like a little chip. You see how it looks like it's kind of shaved off right there. So I was like, eh, I don't want to list it. And somehow it came back into my house. My husband 
brought it back in. I, I don't know if it, if he saw it in the back of the car and I had meant to drop it off at like the thrift store to donate it, but he brought it back in. So I'm like, I'm just going to list it. And I listed it and it sold for $24 and 63 cents. So what do you know? <laughs> All right. The next item I sold is this vintage angel. And I love selling these. It's like a stiffened fabric paper mache. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, I sold her for 20. I think it's a her. I don't know. Maybe it's a boy. Is that a boy or a girl? Comment below. Let me know what you think. I think it's a girl. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, sold it for $20. That one came in a mystery box and the buyer paid shipping. Now, what was strange about this is it had like, almost like it looked like it had been burnt. You know what I mean? Like that's part of the, I don't know. It was weird. I don't know how to explain it. See right there how there's like a hole I don't know. It was definitely different, but it sold. The next item I sold is this Mickey's Comet Goofy Hallmark ornament from 1998. It's vintage. I picked this up at a thrift store for $1.50. It sold really fast for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Her Hasbro. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Hasbro Jurassic World Hero Mashers Ankylosaurus dinosaur figure. And I sold him for $20 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe that was in one of those totes that has been sitting in my basement that I finally listed. Boyd's Bear. You guys know I love my Boyd's Bear plush. This one is a wind up musical. And I sold her for $27 and the buyer paid shipping and I got her for a dollar. And this one sold for $15. It's a retired Boyd's Bear Friends Matthew H. Bear Wolf costume. So it's a little Boyd's Bear with a little wolf costume. It's super, super cute. Uh, got this one for a dollar also. Buyer paid $15 plus shipping. Okay, so this is a vintage Barbie wig. <laughs> yes, I know. It's not the best display with it on my fingers. It looks a little funny, but I, I don't know. I think... I, I wanted to show that it was a wig and show all sides of it, but it does look a little bit silly. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I sold this for $20.49 and the buyer paid shipping. I bought this in a bulk Barbie lot. I, there was like five, six wigs in there and I have sold, I think I have one left. So they definitely are good sellers. The next item I sold is this December Home Fiber Optic Snowman. It worked, but it did not color change. It stayed one color. So. Um, I could have got more for this if it would have worked, but the person that bought it was very happy with just the one color and it sold for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. And that also came out of a mystery box. The next item is this collectibles by Phyllis Parkins angel doll tree topper. She is adorable. And that one came from a thrift store. It was $5. And actually, I don't know if it came out of a mystery box or if I bought it at a thrift store. I can't remember, but I had the value at $5. So it was either a really, um, I didn't get much out of the box. So I just put $5. I don't know, but either way she sold for $22 and the buyer paid shipping and she left me awesome feedback and said she wanted more. I'm like, I don't have any more, but she's really cute. The next item I sold are these Scooby-Doo and Shaggy figures. And I picked these up on Facebook Marketplace in a bulk buy. And I sold these for $19.99 in the buyer paid shipping. Okay, this little guy's fun. He's a plush boy penguin in a costume, a boy with a penguin costume. And he sings Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> and he moves and he's animated. Super fun. Um, he sold pretty quick for $32.79. I got him at a garage sale for 50 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item came in a mystery box and I was like, you know, it's kind of got that, what's that called? Anime? Is that what it's called? I might be wrong. But anyway, it had that look to it. So I'm like, I'm just going to list this and I'm going to auction it and see what happens. And it sold for $15.50. It's just a, um, a felt like stocking. And yeah, the buyer paid shipping on that and that came out of a mystery box. The next item I sold are these vintage Empire pencils, the red, white, and blue USA made, new old stock, hard to find and rare. I picked these up, I think at a garage sale and I sold them for $20.49 and the buyer paid shipping. I probably had less than a buck in them. 
And the last item is this Hallmark keepsake ornament. It's the Delta Flyer from Star Trek Voyager. And it has lights and sound. It's from 2002. And I sold this for $24.59. The buyer paid shipping. And I believe that came out of a mystery box. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. That concludes um, my Bolo video. There's going to be some videos that pop up. Definitely check out one of those. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment. That helps me in the algorithm. And if you hit that little bell beside the subscribe, that will um, alert you when I post new videos. So be on the lookout for all of these items. And if you find an item that you saw in my video, definitely share it with me in the comments. Somebody just um, left me a comment that said they found an Avon advent calendar and they found it because of my Facebook group. And then they had seen it in a video and it was like fresh on their mind and they found one. So it always makes me really happy when you guys find the items that I talk about. So thanks for being here. Thanks for learning with me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.